hello, welcome back. I don't know why you're here. God knows I don't know why I'm here beyond the fact that a long time ago two people had a very irresponsible night and I'm paying for it for the rest of my life, as we all know. Oh boy, am I paying for it. Anyway, so uh, I'm actually back with a, another little remix. Now, uh, these are some familiar faces. This one especially, if you ever look at my profile on, on Miyoji, because my Lady Flame is my favorite build. She was an experiment that has served me beautifully in Duel. And honestly, it's just pure evil fun. And of course over here we have uh, Lady Frost, which is my second Shira build. This one, Lady Flame, grade 6, perfection. Lady Frost, not so much. But of course we got some other lovely dancers in the party today with uh, three Itsumati builds. Two that have been seen, witnessed before, but have had some alterations, and then a third over here, who I've actually been uh, recently built. So this one over here is fresh. So fun, yes. Moving on. Let's start out, of course, with my girl, my favorite, my sh temptress, Shira Nui, Lady Flame. Again. Grade 6. And I know there's some people going, not exactly that good, is it? Trust me. It's the effect that it does its beauty. Let's face it. Temptress is a wonderful soul, and we often neglect it how perfect it is. So, again, we have, like, here an extra 4,000 attack. An extra 4,000 HP, defense. Now, yes, you want her to be going to her second stage, because that's when you get to all the goods. But come on, you want her to stick around for a while, building up speed, so until you absolutely need her, right? And believe me, yes, this build, this uh, Shiki has saved me in quite a few realm raids, too. Now, speed, yes, she's already moving a little quick. She's boosting speed on everyone from first turn with first hand. This makes sure she's getting as much speed as possible, and that when she does hit that second stage, she's practically turning into a Gatling gun that puts shooting Doji SSR to shame. Yes, work with me here. Not the most amount of crit, plenty of crit damage, a little sprinkle of effect hit be to help bolster her chances here with Temptress. Because let's face it, this hits almost all the time at this point. Even with just this little sprinkle on here. No effect resistance, obviously. Now, as I said, grade 6, fully skilled up. Am I flexing a little hard on here? I don't know. I don't know if this counts as a flex. I just love this one. This is like one of my first big experiments that panned out into pure perfection next to my Zashiki build. So, Earth, so yes. Now... Vada. Didn't mean to do that. Moving on. So, Gore, like I say, we have her fully skilled up here, all the way. And honestly, she is so freaking glorious. And this blazing flame when she hits second stage with the con being able to confuse your opponents, especially if she's like your last Shiki. This becomes evil, because you're hitting Confuse constantly? Yes. This right here is the Shiki who has saved my skin on multiple occasions in Duel when I've been against Onikiri. She confuses him, he wipes the entire team out because she hits second stage perfectly and then is just wailing on everything. <laughs> Keeping him confused and, after, and making him keep wiping the party. It's perfection, it's evil fun, and we love it. This is one of the reasons we love Temptress. As you see here, it does put a heavy effect on her uh, attack and crit damage. Especially this beautiful crit damage booster here some attacks here and of course the defense is very helpful but i have of course this lovely shy soul to boost her defense a little more a little more hp and attack 
and some speed because I do want her to stick around as long as possible when she does hit second stage. But this works out so beautifully. I mean, honestly, if you have not tried a Temptress Shiranui build, please, at the very least, just toss them on there. You don't even have to fully skill them up. Just toss a few grade sixes, Temptresses on there, and let yourself try it in a soul zone or something. Just once. You are denying yourself if you don't give this a try. It is such evil fun. I honestly laugh <laughs> so much. Now, of course, we're going to move down the build line here to Lady Frost. Man, I spent almost five minutes talking about my sh my temper share. Anyway, there we go. So Lady Frost here uses what is more or less a build that a lot of people have recommended. Heavy focus on attack and crit. Specifically, Shadow. Now, she's grade 5. She is not fully skilled up, as you can see. 3, 3, and 1. Lower stats on most everything except maybe crit damage in comparison to her uh, older sister. But uh, she's still capable of fucking somebody up, let me tell you. So, again, the focus here is with on crit and attack with Shadow's abilities. Not as much in the speed category because she's just mostly here to just be nine shades of hell out of people. Of course, this beautiful Samuson crit damage soul, because yes, if you're going to boost crit, add some crit damage in there. Yeah, obviously. And to be fair, you can kind of go a little hog wild when it comes to the two pack. Just whatever. Now, do I like this better than my Temptress one? No, <laughs> I'll be honest. I, I love my Temptress build. But this is actually really good, and honestly, something that focuses heavily on crit with her does do very nicely. You want to take advantage of her being able to speed up your Shiki and get them that double attack, which, let's face it, Shira with doing, giving those double attacks to multi-hitters such as, uh, and multi-hitters is like shooting, for instance. Thing of beauty. Actual Gatling gun. But this is actually something I've mentioned before, and I'm probably going to mention again, is um, her ability here. The blazing sky that boosts your speed and everything, as well as the chance of uh, the 50% thing. That actually works insanely well on any Shiki that has like their main attack be just straight up normals. In all honesty, I've also found that if you're in control of your Shiki at the time, you can have them do a normal attack. That a trick, normal attack, and uh, that triggers. You could just use that to help build orbs or build effects, such as a Orochi's. Uh, damn it, I can't remember for the life of me what that is, a mark he makes is, but it's the one that he does that when he, when after he hits three times, it heals himself and his snakes that works out beautifully to bolster that and actually the two count kind of affects his snakes a little bit at least in auto mode i've seen it happen i don't know if that's supposed to be maybe that's a glitch don't know some things are weird in mechanics all right i'm spending too long on shira maybe but i love her she was a beautiful addition, and she was actually one of the first SSRs I actually got when I joined the game, so yes. Here we go. So now we move on to our Itsumatis. Now, Miss Gray and Miss Honey here, they're two of my oldest ones. They have a previous video, like I said, um, and she's a bit of an underrated little beast mode. So let's start with Miss Gray here. Now, grade 5, fully skilled. These are actually some very nice little stats for her to start out with. It's... Now, as, like I say, fully skilled. Yes, beautiful. Now, I don't use her as often as I do my Shira. I'll admit this. I will be completely blunt. But she can definitely wreak some havoc. In this case, it's got to focus on attack because uh, she can really wail on somebody. 
little bit of a multi hitting, you know. And of course, for some extra on top of the uh, attack boosting crits of claws, we have some soul taker here for extra attack and everything. Now, she does have some speed boosting here, because, I mean, why not? Not the most defense, and not the most HP. Her focus, like I say, it's on her attack with a little bit of everything else. But mostly it's focused on her attack. She's meant to basically just start wailing on people. Now, Miss Honey actually uses a build that as I've seen recommended multiple times with her. She uses Seductress, which, let's face it, is one of our classics. Yes, it's one of the classics. It's very versatile, and it works very nicely with her. As you can see here, heavy focus on attack. Not as much in the speed category or the crit. Lots of crit damage. So, if she does make that good hit, she's going to make it hurt. little effect resistance, because as... A lot of my Shiki have because, as I say multiple times, you don't want your Shiki getting knocked stupid. You love doing it to someone else, but you don't want it. Let's face it. <laughs> now, of course, like I say, Seductress build, focused with attack, and crit damage, some beautiful ones. This beautiful crit dam double helping of crit damage for Harpy with this other down here. Now, could this have been replaced with probably one with more attack boosting? Yes. Was I actually going to do that? No, because you can't knock HP and defense too much. Nobody wants a glass cannon. Because if you screw up that first shot, you are basically boned. Let's face it. And we know I got a couple of glass cannons laying around. Let's be honest here. Now, of course, oh wait, what am I doing? Oh, there's my friends. Here we go. So now we go down the line here. Oh, what's that? What's that? Yes, I have some other builds here to work on, including a new Jorogumo build, but we'll cover that at a later date. But we also have, of course, like I say, Miss Scarlet here, who's grade four, unevolved, pretty fresh. Not bad stats to get to a grade four unevolved Shiki. And of course, I had to try my hand with Scarlet on her because, let's face it, if she can hit somebody and make it hurt, why not have her counterattacking like crazy and see how that works out? I thought it was fun to try. Now, of course, as before, it's focused with attack, some defense and crit and crit damage because you want her to stick it around. If, I mean, it always pays to not nix those when you've got your heavy hitters. And of course it has a, I still cannot pronounce this to save my life, Any, I, so I still call, I'm going to call it fire chicken. Let's be honest, I apologize if that offends anyone, but I can't pronounce it and my failure at pronunciation is probably more offensive than me just referring to it as a fire chicken right now. Okay. So we have this with its attack boosting and crits. Um, these two, actually, if I remember correctly, were from my previous Abozu or Abuzu monk. My previous monk build that involved where I had just played around with giving him a fire chicken build to see how it worked and later changed my mind and went to Tomb Guard or is it Tomb Robber? It's the new one. There's, there's a video about it, yeah. But I figured, you know what, she's kind of a bird. Let's try that. Just, you know, not only for its damn abilities, and I already had these fully maxed, but for fun. Overall, it's been pretty nice. It gives her a good crit boosting, lots of attack. It basically helps her do what she's here to do. Now, I've run my mouth quite a bit. Mostly about Shira Nui, let's face it. So, we're going to have a little fun right now with uh, letting these girls just go to town and a level 40 Hakagami zone and a level 40 Kappa zone and just watch the fireworks display. So, this should be fun. Now, uh, if you want to knock off here, you're free to. No harm, no shame, no foul. But if you want to stick around and uh, watch with us, sure, please do. 
to just, if you're heading out the door, just do the holy trifecta of YouTube on your way out, okay? Let's have some fun. Go. Ladies? Wait for it. Okay, my game is frozen. I don't know what it is about the last update, but it has actually frozen my game so much. Say, May, you're not needed, baby. There we go. I should probably turn her on too. I haven't had her. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay, that was a little evil. <laughs> don't worry, the game will catch up. I don't know what it is, but like I said, the last update has actually caused the game to, cr at least on my end, to crash multiple times. So I guess my system is so poor it can't actually handle it. <laughs> Just, you know, okay, I love this. Wailing on everybody, just wiping them out. <laughs> uh, and I love that about her being so fast with Lady Flame is because not only she got the effect and everything, but after she uses her upper hand move, she can start attacking. So you got a chance you could actually confuse like your opponent's heavy hitter first, hey, first turn, which is great. Yay! There we go. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, that would have been like any TV or movies of like freeze frame ending shot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hit the copa zone and we'll watch the rest of the fireworks, okay? I'll see you in a sec. Okay, and we are back in the copa zone with two Shiranues, Shiranue, and uh, three Itsumade, so. This is going to be fun. And of course, one Seimei just in the background looking pretty. Okay, go for it. <laughs> I still love watching that. <laughs> and that is why it's some kind of beast right there. <laughs> yep, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I just love Shiranui's animations. They're just so beautiful. I think. <laughs> Can we say field wipe? <laughs> Yay. All right, that was a lot of fun. Okay, so got to see that. I'm heading out. If you like this or you got a, a thoughts or opinions, please leave them down below in a comment. While you're there, do the rest of the Holy Trifecta of YouTube with a like, comment, subscribe. I already said comment. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I haven't had near enough coffee to be alive yet. So on that note, I'm out the door. And I'll see you next time. Maybe with some more on Miyoji builds. Maybe something else. I'm not sure. Kind of leaning towards maybe wanting to play observation duty again, but why would I, but I may not want to torture myself. I don't know. I'll flip a coin. Bye.